I went on a listing appointment last night and the um, owner let me know that I was the third person that they had interviewed. And had I known that, I probably wouldn't have gone, but I'm glad I did because um, I think there's a lot of rookies out there and they don't know how to talk to people. They don't know the information to take. And this gentleman, you know, he said, well, Missy, you're the one that stayed the longest. You shared relevant information with me and I left relevant information with them. But I think the thing that I really want to share with those of you who are getting ready to put your house on the market, um, and you're welcome to ask me this, I would be more than happy to pull the numbers for you. He had the two cards. They, I asked him if he would be kind enough to share with me whom I was competing with. And he did. He gave me the cards and I went home and looked their numbers up for him. One gentleman had sold no homes was representing that he was a part of a team who had sold, you know, however many houses, which, okay, so if you're part of a team, where is your mentor, where is your team lead? And if you don't know how to talk the talk, obviously you have not been coached or educated. The other young lady was from Arlington. And I told him, I'm like, why would you list with someone that is not local that can't convey all the fabulous things that we live with here in Fredericksburg Spotsy area. You know, the new VA hospitals going in, the slug lots, all the opportunities to commute up north, the opportunities to com commute down south, all the cool restaurants we have, all the school stuff, anything that we live with on a daily basis, why on earth would you list with an agent from up north? Even if they're giving you an crazy, ass kicking commission um, reduction. If anybody gives you that, guess what? They're going to not fight for you. They're not willing to get educated and have a value that they can share with you. What, what are they going to do when they get a contract? They're going to take that first contract. They're not going to be there to advocate for you. Plus, the agents from up north, I get more calls from people down here saying, hey, yeah, my agent's in Springfield, and they just, it's raining, and she does not want to drive all the way down here to show me a house. Really? If you're an agent that is not local, that is not willing to be there on call, basically, for your buyers, especially in this market, to be able to show them one house, we don't get to show eight houses in a Saturday anymore. There aren't eight listings to show. So anyway, this young lady had done two rentals and sold two houses in the last 360 days. So I pulled my numbers and I shared them with him. I didn't say anything else. And um, he was blown away that they had so misrepresented their um, quality and that their, their um, future success as well as their past success. Anyway, sellers, ask. Ask the numbers. Ask for them to print out their personal MLS market transactions that they can share with you. And then call me. Happy Monday, you guys. Have a great one.